In the words of a lovely, lovely man, and the most famous, maybe, clip of all time, the great Jim Mora. Playoffs? Playoffs. Playoffs. Um, it is true that Minnesota's not quite done yet, but before we find out for sure what seed we're going to be, we do need to talk about potential lineup changes here. Uh, Boop Ditsky, as he's been called, will be our starter in the playoffs. Um, we're not going to change anything here, right? Here. Baseball fan, what's going on? Defensively, Bigris is hurt. Melloc, eh. Played better next to Hayek. Devon Taves is not playing. He is just flat out not playing. The question is who gets the call up for him, and it probably is Rasmus Anderson, or it's Kale McCarr. Might have to be Kale. Might have to be. He made his debut in the playoffs. Do wonder about proper player type, but then there's nothing I can do in that instance, really. Send down like Carlson, Yakupov, and Pooh. Run clean. Actually, Costin's going to get sent down, too. Left wing would theoretically work. Center would be interesting. It is possible to ice a team where everyone's in their proper position. That might be the way to do it. First things first, let's find out playoff-wise. What's it going to be? And it will indeed be us against the St. Louis Blues. You have Winnipeg, Minnesota, Calgary, Arizona, Edmonton, and Dallas. Of course, the Eastern Conference matchups there as well. Why wouldn't it be Pittsburgh and Washington and the Islanders against the Rangers? So finally... I say finally, it hasn't been that long of a retooling that obviously we took the shortcut through free agency, uh, but we are finally in the playoffs. So defensively, we know that Devon Taves is getting sent down. We waited until the playoffs started so that we wouldn't lose him on waivers, even though he's up at the end of the year and people are going to be mad that he's gone. Or five. A lot of people are going to be mad that he's gone. We're going to call up Kale McCarr and Yerky Yoki Paka. But Makar will be the one to play. So, actually, we'll send down Yoki for a minute. Forward-wise, if we get people in the proper positions, it's Jost, McKinnon, Pedersen, and Geeky. Well, look at one of the Klimas there. Left-wing eyes, Landis Alexander, Greer, Kachuk wasn't that good. Olhaver wasn't the Oh, baby. I know what we're doing. Pedersen... And you knew it was coming. We're calling up the Klimas. Now's the time. Kachuk and Costin go down. Kelly and Kevin Klima are going to get the call up. And one Elias Pettersson will make his debut in the playoffs. Right wing sides, Ranton and Zuccarello, Comfer. None of these three were particularly great. I don't know who else we'd play, though. How did Carlson do? Minus 20 in the regular season. Jesus Christ. How was Nail? 19 points. In an even you know what? Nail Yakupov's going to get the chance. Unless Cliff Poo was significantly better. Not really. So send down Carlson and Poo. Let's take a look. What does this team look like? It's not exactly the highest rated team, but it will see... Everybody played in their proper line or their proper position. So it's Landeskog, Rantanen needs to be on the other side for Skinner. Skinner, Jost, Rantanen, Landeskog, McKinnon, Zuccarello, Greer, Pedersen, Comfer, Klima, Klima, and Yakupov. Still pretty good. Still pretty damn good. Defensively, Barry and Carlson, eh. Melloc, McAvoy, Hayek, and Makar. So in theory, we have three offensive defensemen. Technically four with McAvoy. Kevin, Kelly, Klima. Mm. Well, 
Let's go with, I can't believe I'm saying this, Libor Hayek with Eric Carlson, McAvoy and Barry, Melloc and Makar. I think that is the setup. I think that works. Makar and Carlson, that's not too bad either. It would be OFD with OFD, but, I mean, it's Eric Carlson, Mikhail Makar. It's pretty fun. AHL-wise, we'll go best lines. I don't think we'll have too many people. We do actually have to get Sumal in there. Because we know this team very much made the playoffs, and this is going to allow this roster to be even more stacked. I mean, look at that. That's insane for AHL purposes, let alone AHL porpoises. Um, Yoki Paka. I'll actually probably get the call up again. I should do that really quickly, just in case of injury. Well, actually, we don't need to. If an injury happens, an injury happens. But for now, let's leave this AHL roster stacked. Um, so Fetter Tootin, we can take out for Sharoff. And Yoki Paka, we'll take out for Eric Brandstrom. So that is still quite the team. Still got Wall and Otter in goal. This could be a big run for both of these teams. Big shout out to Nick, by the way, for the two months. Thank you very much, Nick. Hopefully it brings us some good luck here because let's be honest, even though we have a great team, we are going to need some good luck. Always. The St. Louis Blues in the first round. Joseph Wall just injured his ankle. Rampage haven't even started the playoffs and they're already screwed. 94 to 93, 93 to 89, 89 to 86. We have them beat in every aspect, which is great. Still believe this is the only way to look at the opposition's lines. Starting lineup isn't quite what I wanted. Let's edit lines and then view opponents. There we go. So this is the Blues roster. I just realized I didn't look at league-wide scoring. I could still do that if people care. Um, Jaden Schwartz with Paul Stashny and Vladimir Sabaka. Vladimir Tarasenko, the cover boy, with Braden Shen and Mackenzie McEachern. Zach Sanford, a dude named Steve Taves, and Bo Bennett. And a fourth line of Jordan Cairo, Patrick Berglund, and Robbie Fabry. And our dog, yes it is. That's a damn good team. Defensively, Colton Pareko and Alex Petrangelo... Tommy Vanelli with Jordan Schmaltz and Vince Dunn with Jake Gritty Wallman. Goaltender Jake Allen with Billy Husso behind him. Injuries to both Alex Steen and Petri Lindbaum and a healthy scratch, Ivan Barbashev. This set of lineups really should indicate that it would be a six or seven game series. So I'm going to guess that we get swept. You know, I, I get that some people might be like, uh, come on now, you can have more confidence than that, can't you? However, um, we, we have seen series like this play out on plenty of occasions. I said series and a certain phone-related app is like, were you talking to me? No! Quit listening to me all the time. Damn apps. Unbelievable. All right. Game number one. Our first playoff game with the Avalanche. First period. One nothing. In his first ever NHL game... Elias Pettersson, 33 seconds left in the first, has the opening goal. Aiden, hello. So far, so good. Second period. Well, Robbie, Robbie Fabry and uh, I forget the first dude's name, Taves, Satos, um, gave St. Louis the lead. Nathan McKinnon did tie the game. But yeah, and shot to take her as well, the four months. Steve Toes. Sure. 
We are tied heading into the third period. Robbery Fabry. Well, if we lose this series, I'm going to feel like I got Robbery Fabried. So Tarasenko scores, but McKinnon four seconds later. Okay. Tied again. Five minutes left. Klima! Is it Kelly or Kevin? And the Colorado Avalanche take game one, five to three. Thanks to one of the Klimas. Tyson Jost seals the deal. What Klima was it? It was Kevin. Kevin! Kevin Klima gets it done. Nathan McKinnon, by the way, heart and soul of the team. Jesus Christ. What a performance for Nathan McKinnon. And we have a 1-0 series lead. Certainly wasn't expecting that. Certainly wasn't. Uh, first in the conference for the Rampage, by the way, 102 points. Jesus. And the Rampage are outrageously good. We got a game number two, still in St. Louis. Can we find a way through here? First period. Goalless. I don't know who that benefits more. Not us, probably. Second period. It's okay. I mean, Jaden Schwartz gets the opening goal. One of the Klimas. And Jeff Skinner. We're up to one. The Klima call-ups, by the way. Oof. What a shrewd decision. Still up to one. Power play for the Blues. Vladimir Tarasenko. Damn. Eric Carlson. Three minutes left. The Colorado Avalanche have a 2-0 series lead, winning both games on the road in St. Louis to start the series. What a performance as well for Sergei Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't trade him, huh? We are up 2-0. How would their jersey name plates work? K E yeah K E V dot Klima K E L dot Klima. It would be some interesting nameplates. Oh goodness, Joseph Wall is ready to go in San Antonio. So the Rampage do get their starter back before the start of the playoffs. And we get ready. For game number three, no reason to change anything about the team here. First period, 2-1 Blues. Nathan McKinnon struck first, but from there it's Jaden Schwartz and Vladimir Tarasenko. We outshot them 16-6, and it did not mean a gosh darn dang thing. Damn it. Damn it. Second period. Goalless. That's not good. Getting shut down by Jake Allen, and we could easily be looking at the home team loses trend. Oh, which doesn't bode well for us. Neither does that. On Felix Sandstrom, Vladimir Saboka makes it a two goal game. That's that. The Blues take game three, 4 1. The final score. Jake Allen, 31 of 32 stopped. Great game for Sabotka, the former Bruin. Sprobrovsky out long term. Not that we know of. The AHL, by the way, the Rampage draw the Texas Stars in the first round. Well, we got a game four. It just looks like the coach pulled Bobrovsky. It is what it is. 
We'll see what happens as I try to fight off the sneeze. I'm going to lose. Excuse me. All right. First period. Thank you, chat. Very kind. Oh, my God. They always play out the same way. <sighs> Berglund and Fabry, it's 2-0. Second period, we do tie it up. Miko Rantanen and one of the Klimas. We have no way of knowing who. But the Klimas are going to win us to the cup. They're going to win us to the cup. They're going to lead us to the cup. And we're going to win the cup. They're going to win us to the cup. That's how good they are. They're going to win us. Kale McCarr has his first ever NHL goal. Make it three unanswered. Can we seal the deal? Yeah, of course. I definitely jinxed it. You're not wrong. Third period, overtime, on deck. Game three is what I meant to say, not third period. Here we go. We only jump in if it goes to double overtime, unless it's an elimination game. All right. Blues win. Vince Dunn is the overtime hero. And this series is tied. Hate it here. Rampage 1 1 split against the Stars. Let's take a look at the boys from four games in. It's a good enough time to see how people are doing. Jesus Christ. All right, well, the second parry of Barry and McAvoy outright does not work. Um, we're going to go Barry and Carlson, McAvoy, McCarr. We'll see how that goes because that third pairing has actually done well. Brofsky. Shout out to Taker for the 26 bits, by the way. Uh, Bob, you're going to sit this next game, buddy. Felix Sandstrom's going to get the opportunity. One point for Skinner, two for Jost. Ranton and struggled. Second line's been good. And the fourth line with the Klimas has actually been pretty good, too. Yakupov, Joe Skinner, Landeskog, McKinnon, Zuccarello, Greer, Pedersen, Rantanen. We have a 90 overall player on, on the top three lines, each of the top three lines. Top six has two 90 players on each line. We'll have the Klimas with JT Confer. <sighs> We're going to turn to Felix Sandstrom and hope that he can do a job for us here in game five. The Blues win this one. I feel like it's GG. First period. Tyson Jost gets the opening goal. Clearly all because Nail Yakupov was with him on that top line. You'd love to see it. Second period. It's such a good feeling to get it right. The Klimas. Or maybe the same Klima. Who's to say? And Miko Rantanen. It's a 4-0 lead heading into the third period of game five. Klima. <laughs> I 
multiple Klima. As Sandstrom finally gives up a goal on the 27th shot of the game for the Blues. It's 4-1. And the Avalanche are one win away from the second round. As the Klimas continue to get it done. Both goals for Kelly Klima. And again, the Avs just one win away. Getting past the Blues. No doubt about it. Felix Sandstrom gets to start game six. And when does the argument become bump up the Klimas to the top line? <laughs> God, they've been so good. <laughs> I'm going to leave them where they are. But if we get to the point where it's desperate times, call for desperate measures, they get the call up. Can we end this series in game six? Let's find out. First period. 2-1 for the Blues. Landis God gets our lone goal. It's Sanford and Taves for the Blues. Second period. Oh, boy. Jordan Schmaltz. All right. Well, we go to the third. Down by two. Will the Blues force a game seven? The home team has not won a single game in the series, and it looks like that's going to continue to be the case. As Yep. Yeah. We're going seven. As the boys get absolutely rocked on home ice, Kale McCarr adds a late goal. Six to two is the final score. And game seven. Is on the way. Well, Chris Bigris is back. At least he's available. I don't feel like he's going to be healthy enough to play. And he's not. There's absolutely no way that Sergei Bobrovsky plays this game. At least gets the start. Joseph Wall. Congratulations, buddy. It's your opportunity in your first ever NHL game to win a game seven. No pressure. Defensively, Tyson Berry has absolutely sucked. Charlie McAvoy has also sucked. At least from a defensive standpoint. Again, Bigris is not healthy enough to play. However, yeah, right, we just need another Klima, brother. Rasmus Anderson. Nick Hag. My boy, Nick Haig. He was a legend for us on this game, and I'm turning to him again. He's going to step in for Tyson Berry. And he'll play third pair with Charlie McAvoy. We'll have Makar and Hayek, or will we? Yeah, we'll have Melot, Carlson, Makar, and Hayek. From the offensive standpoint, Jeff Skinner hasn't done shit. AJ has been pretty bad. It's happening. It's absolutely happening. At least as a second line. Because the previous second line is now the first line. Uh, 
And then Yakupov, three points. Ranton, three points, but a minus three. And then Comfer hasn't done anything. Landis Gog, McKinnon, Zuccarello, Kevin, Kelly, Andy Nail, Skinner, Jost, Rantanen, Greer, Pedersen, Comfer. We are putting faith in the Klimas to deliver us to the second round. And Ottinger takes over as the starter. And the AHL Brandstrom will come in for Fedor Tutin. <sighs> Can the Klimas and company get it done? Can they do it? That is the question. We've trusted them. Peter Klima's family. Indeed. Indeed. It is uh, Peter Klima's twin sons. Oh, good old Peter Klima. It's a Bruins fan. I'm not supposed to like Peter Klima, by the way. Game seven. Because, of course, it's going seven when I said it wasn't going to go seven. The home team hasn't won all series long. What's the worst that could happen? First period. Matt Zuccarello and Eric Carlson. Second period. 20 minutes away. <sighs> Joseph Wall has stopped all 21 shots he's faced so far. Here we go. Here we go. I know I talk too much. First period. Went our way. Second period was a stalemate. Third period. Game seven. We're halfway there. Saboteur. <laughs> I'll just I'll just put on the the Santa hat of shame right now. Well, there's about two minutes left in regulation. Game seven. I'll put on the stadium series jersey. Here we go. Comes down to this. Next goal sends their team to the second round. Blues in control. Fabry in the corner. Stick lifted. Trying to win it back. McAvoy bumps him off the puck. McKinnon for Landeskog. Back to McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon can't make the drive. Cairo gets run over by Landis Gog. Patrick Berglund. Back to Cairo. Tommy Vanelli. That doesn't go, thank God. Zuccarello. For McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon. Can't hold it. Into the attacking end. Berglund dumps it in. McAvoy. Nearly own gold it. Charlie McAvoy. To Klima. To Klima! Oh, it would have been amazing. 108 to go. Fabry dumps it in. Kairou. Back to Berglund. The Klimas are there. 
Nail Yakupov. Yakupov! No. Yakupov, another chance, can't get it through. Klima recovers. God, that shot just missed. Power play coming up. Oh my God. Oh my God, let's go. <laughs> Kairu into the legs of McAvoy. And again, the coach changes things on its own because of the setting, so I don't have to do any of that. 35 left in regulation. Carlson nearly turned it over. Up ahead for Tyson Jost. Jost cuts back. Jost to Nick Haig misses wide. Jost in front. Good chance. Schmaltz will clear. 16 to go. Carlson. Over to Landeskog. 10 seconds. Gabriel Landeskog looking. Can't hold it. Braden Shen will clear. And we will go to overtime in game seven. I'm, I'm just going to shut the fuck up for the entire overtime. All right? It defeats the entire purpose of what this is. But I'm just going to go ahead and shut the hell up. So let, let's enjoy this together. I'll just... I'll just... I'll just muzzle myself. I'll just be here. Fine. continues with the start of this period. Has it in his own end. Scrum over, Buck kicked. The Avs move toward the neutral zone. That's a good pad save. A whistle and a rest. I'm allowed to talk during breaks. That was close. That's the rule. I'm at least allowed to talk. If the puck's in play, I'll shut the hell up. Got possession. And it's cleared out of there. Colorado's back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. Two guys together with force. Big force. You don't see those type of collisions very often. Shoot. Nearly grazed the iron on them. You have to give yourself a chance. That puck cannot miss the net like that. Shift to the backhand and shoots. That play is offside, and so back to center ice for the face. How many chances do our best guys need, man? Also, those numbers are huge. And a guy just disappeared. with some splendid penalty killing here. Colorado's in their own end setting things up. Trying the probe up the wing. Good quick stick. Sent out of the zone by Bennett. And picked up now by Eric Carlson. Pass attempt to Landisgaard. And offside is called on the play. Oh, no. Colorado's got it off the draw at center. And the loose puck gathered in by Skinner. Blocked. The Blues penalty killers come up big. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. Oh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Loose puck taken by Carlson. Skate kick out of the scrum. And possession once again by Landeskog. He's in on an onside play. Flings it, paddled aside. He covers, and a face-off will follow. This is torture. This is torture. Absolute torture. Doing my best not to jinx anything. Good clean win on the draw. 
didn't miss by much. He got all of that. Beat the goaltender, just missed over the ball. Kicked out of the scrum. Back in his defensive end to get it. Laid on to McKinnon. Let's it go. Off the mark with the shot. Terrific opportunity, though. St. Louis moves with it up the wing. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. At the point, big shot! Oh, what a terrific save in close. The goalie makes himself look big. The abs through the neutral zone, carrying off. Can he generate something from there? Nicely into the zone. Taken over again. On to Yakupov. Loose now picked up. Trying to go to Stastny. And he steps in. Couldn't get through. Chip to Marr. Two sticks together. It goes to the offense. The offense was strong, but the bad. Oh, Kale. Why is it that a team that has 590 overall forwards, I feel the most confident when Kevin and Kelly Klima have the puck? Jesus Christ. They're out there with Yak. We're getting destroyed on draws. Strong play on that face off. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. It's dumped in. Colorado starting back in the defensive zone. Gets in. What'll he do? Moves it to the corner. Fires a wonderful shot answered quickly. He's yeah! <laughs> One of the Klimas did it! I don't know if it was Kevin or Kelly, but the Klimas send us to the second round! Let's fucking go! Yes! Oh my god! Jesus Christ, we survive. The home team loses every single game, and Joseph Wall wins his NHL debut. Holy crap. Whew. Unbelievable. I can't believe you put this game above 06. In what regard? I mean, this is the greatest game of all time. Did you just not see what just happened there? <laughs> oh my god. On the only shot of the game. Whew. So into the attacking zone. We got to figure out whose number is what, or we rename them number or renumber them one and two. So 40's low, takes the hit, gets it to his brother, puts it on, Yakupov shoots it right fucking into it. <laughs> oh, no, Yakupov, you fucking suck. Shoots it right into him. And the person who brought it into the zone, I believe that is Kevin. As Alan watching butt scoot. Whoop. But it crosses the line. And we have a hero. In this reality, the Klimas are insane. By the way, scores a goal, actually reacts. It's hilarious looking, right? But they actually react to the fact that they scored. Um, I recorded a clip in NHL 24 the other day. And it's this clip right here where I scored a goal with Elias Lindholm. And watch this. Where he just stonewalls the entire time. 
No emotion, no nothing. He does almost break his fucking wrist right here. So, um... Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to NHL24. He's sweet as shit. Fair enough. The Colorado Avalanche are going to the second round primarily thanks to not one of numerous 90 overall players, but thanks to Kelly and Kevin Klima. I can't even see the fucking jersey numbers from here. It was Kevin that scored. Kevin Klima, the hero. We blew a two-goal lead, but we win it in overtime. You'll love to see it. Oh my goodness. So indeed, yeah, you have Kevin as uh, number 40 and Kelly as number 6. I'm okay with that. So we know the 40 is uh, is Kevin. We're good with that. We're good with it. Um, unbelievable series to win our first ever playoff appearance. And we will have another matchup coming up. It was actually... <laughs> Kelly... <laughs> Kelly Klima outscored Gabriel Landeskog. Shout out to Bad Habits for the follow. Klima outscored Gabriel Landeskog, Miko Rantanen, Tyson Jost, and Jeff Skinner. Jesus Christ. The Klima and Yakupov line can't be stopped. They both, they combined for six goals. Jesus Christ. We were super close to trading them once upon a time, too, but we didn't. And this is insane. And now, as well, I mean, it's only one game, but what a performance from Joseph Wall. I think Bobrovsky uh, may have just lost his, uh, his starting position. We're moving on. And in round number two, we take on the Winnipeg Jets. Damn it. 